Yeah, turn off your phones. Live. Good afternoon, everybody. It's Thursday, and it's a great day here at the show because today we are working with two charities. Because in December, that's what we like to do, at least give two charities a break. So these two beautiful, lucky women are here today, and um, an anonymous donor um, sponsored them. And this lovely lady, Donna, was here before. And this lovely lady, it's your first time here. Yes. So I'd like to introduce the both of them to you. Is Felicia Bellamy? Yes. Okay, you got some red hair. <laughs> very, very pretty. <laughs> Thank you. And you are from friendscrisiscenter.com. Yes. And then Donna Johnson, she's like a pro now. She's been here <laughs> twice. And she's from the Mickey D Charitable Foundation. Yes. And so we're happy to have you both here. December is a time for giving. Yes. And we try to do something, you know, early to work with a charity because before you know it, it's Christmas. Mm -hmm. And it's unbelievable. Where is the time going? It's just unbelievable. It really is. So we're happy to have you both. Okay. Today is National Crossword Solvers Day. Did you know that? Mm-mm. <laughs> and National Brownie Day. Like that. that sounds good. <laughs> so today, go home, on your way, get some brownies, <laughs> and then get a puzzle. And get a puzzle. <laughs> okay, because then you'll be celebrating the national day, and it takes a lot of work to get a national day. So I check these things out because it's a conversation piece. Yes. And most people do not know that it's National Brownie Day. That gives you the right to eat like five brownies today. <laughs> My and daughter, not feel guilty. My daughter actually checks every day. She does. And the students ask her every day, okay, what day is it today, Miss J? What day is it today? Oh, she, she does. But that's a good she, thing for the she, kids. She yeah, knows is. every day what national day it is. So what does your daughter teach? She is an athletic director in Brooklyn. Whoa. Wow. She's got some job. Yeah. yeah. And Great. She teaches health. Very nice. And do you have any children? Oh, yeah. I have three. My daughter, she... Just opened it up a huge beauty salon. Whoa! Yes, in uh, Colony, New York. It's called How far? Trans Barbie it sounds salon. like it's very far. Well, we're three hours away from yeah. um, from upstate New York. Right. So you're a boonie, mm -hmm. <laughs> but you don't look like a boonie. A beautiful. Um, my favorite thing is pearls. Thank you. So I love your outfit. Really, you guys look great today. Really. Thank you. You're making me look bad. I need to get dressed today. Very nice. You look very nice. <laughs> So it is also three birthdays today. It is Ronnie Kilfoyle's birthday. Happy birthday. Nora, little baby Nora's birthday. And Mariana Gallo's birthday. So happy birthday, everybody. Happy birthday. Three, two lovely women and one cute little patootie. She's on my Facebook today. You see the, the little one in the um, Irish dancing outfit? Uh -huh. She's my little niece. Okay. So... So I welcome you all here. We're ready. We have some people watching. Susan, Jenny, Christina Hart, Courtney Hospitalis. You know her? You know uh, her? Maybe. No? <laughs> all right. Well, Courtney, she's saying, I'm just saying two birds, one stone. So she's calling you two birds from heaven. Nice. See that? Very nice. Thank Everybody you. looks very lovely. Thank you for the compliments. We yes, need that. Thank you. So um, I, my, my co-host is not here today did you meet him the I last did, time yes. all right so you did you yes. didn't, I didn't he's a right. panic he owns this club okay and at night this place is zooming with fun I as you can tell we have a stage everything if you ever need to rent it there you know he charges for parties and anytime you have a party here it's like unbelievable it's just so they nice and fun. they decorate it and there's a stage over there in the dark oh, yes. so people get crazy and tonight is karaoke, but it got canceled. So there's no karaoke tonight, guys, if you're watching. No so, karaoke. Well, when no. somebody showed up at 5 o'clock for karaoke, you know it's got to be She must have really needed to party to, today. Yeah. You know it's got to be pretty I offered to have her stay, but she she didn't want to sit for an hour or so. We're not, we're a little boring, I guess. I don't know. But she doesn't realize we're not. So right. She missed out. That's she lost right. out. Yes, she did. So anyway, the weather is, like, nice. It's, uh... Hell, Courtney Hospital says, I'm not female. Okay, that's all right, Courtney. I'm looking at your picture now. I can see that you're not a female. Well, thank you for watching. Share the show, okay? We need everyone to watch. 
So um, that's part of what we do here. Everybody shares and it goes haywire. That's good. So I'm going to start with my friend Donna because she's used to this. You're new. So we're going to start with Donna and then we're going to talk together. Okay. How are things at the Mickey D Foundation? Things are very good. Very good. I saw you went on where, Fox? I did. I was on Fox Did you go in or they came to you? They came to me. Yeah. We actually, because it was so early in the morning, it was 6 a.m. I had to meet them at, we filmed it at the storage unit. So we were having a wrapping day Sunday afternoon Mm -hmm. and we filmed with them at 6 a.m. So they met me at the storage unit and um, the amount of gifts we've been receiving has been phenomenal. You must be so happy. So we had a a whole day. We went to the BFW in Long Beach. They let us use the room and we had a wrapping party. And I I saw 40 plus volunteers. Uh, Um, A third of them I didn't know. They came from the community. I mean, just I put it out there. Anybody want to volunteer? And these people just showed up it was amazing oh, and so we nice. wrapped enough gifts to um distribute to 14 facilities oh and God. counting and wow. we're still we're still Good, wrapping we have, and counting gifts well, look at all these great things we got donated oh, oh awesome. body lotion what the heck is this uh coconut oil perfect shea butter Bath or repi? Bath or repi. Awesome. And we have a lot, you know, more coming. Yes, so you're going to awesome. have to come back, unfortunately. I will come back. Yeah, I know you will. So let's talk about the organization. You started it because your parents I started were giving people. In, in 2020, my, both my parents died to COVID. They were in two different facilities. And uh, my family quickly became advocates for the seniors, um, trying to get answers on why all these seniors died. And in the interim, I met a lot of people who's, um, fortunately, their parents didn't die, but they were in lockdown. Yes. And it, it came to the point where you didn't know which was worse because mm-hmm. they couldn't get in to see their families. And then on top of that, I learned that there were so many seniors in there that had no family. So no one was really worried, worried about, about them. them. And then yes. when Governor, the then Governor, Governor Cuomo, when he said one day in one of his press conferences, he said, who cares they died? He was talking about where they died, but he said, who cares they died? He said that? So, yes. So oh, we started that's why he said, doesn't have we show care, anymore. we care. And then it just, it just blew up. We just, um, my daughter and I started bringing small gifts and cards to facilities, uh, especially like my dad was right down the block from me, so it was easy to drop stuff off. But then I started spreading the word to friends and family, and the response was tremendous. I feel like it's something ev- in everybody's well, heart. Well, now it's yours. Everybody it's your wants baby. to do it. You, they just need an, an executor. Yes. So I'm the executor. That's it's great. Just, now, do you work full time too? I don't. Thank I God. Because yes. now this is taken off. All right. So now, who did you get interviewed by on Fox? Um, Janice Dean. Oh, actually I don't my know sister-in-law. her. Oh, she, she's your she sister? Is, she's the meteorologist on, on Fox oh, News. Oh, okay. So she, yeah, so she did the interview. That's pretty great. Yeah. It was on Fox and Friends, so she had the the team in the background in yes. her ear, but she was asking me all the questions. And That's everything. great. Yeah. I dealt with them once, and they came to us, um, and I'm trying to get back, you know, but, uh, you know, it takes time to get through right. to that. I've been trying to get on for. Right. That's my goal for I've my book. I'm trying News 12. I can't get News 12. Oh, forget it. I'm, <laughs> I'm trying, honey. It's it's a whole different ball game now. They got they laid off a lot of people. But you never know. Yeah. You never yeah. know. If I get through, no, I'll, I'll let trying. you know. We, yeah. we help each other. Right. That's what exactly. we do here. So now your parents are looking down at you and saying, look what she's doing. Yes. And you must see everybody smiling yeah. when you go deliver. Definitely. Do you have well, little you uh, helpers? We're just starting to be able to get in. We weren't allowed to go in. So we're really just basically just dropping the gifts off. I'm I'm so looking forward to on Wednesday, I was invited to a facility to a Christmas party. They're having okay. a lot of them. And we're able to give out gifts. It's in New Jersey because I have um, um a woman who I met through this. She just saw the, the segment on Fox when mm-hmm. it first aired about my parents. And she reached out. So she mirrors everything we do here. She because we do for every holiday all year long. We give a gift. Okay. So on every holiday, she mirrors us, and she collects from her friends and family, and she distributes to two or three places in New Jersey. And it's the same thing. So we were invited to one of the places in New Jersey on Wednesday, but we're also going to go and drop off at the other places. Yeah. So I'm like so excited. Well, when you go to the other places, I'm going to give you some extra cards. Let those um, people that you deal with at the assisted living know that I would come and talk about my book there. Okay. 
Because I know they bring okay, people yeah, in no, a lot. They're, home. they're letting people in now. And say, you know me, and you know, yeah, that would be helpful they're letting people maybe. in now because we're going to set something up. Yeah. My nephews are going to go play music. They both um, are very musically gifted, and they're going to go and um, play some music for the seniors. Okay, okay. so nice. I would love to get So in they are there. allowing people in now. And, you know, I could oh, be funny, good. so they'll yeah. laugh at me. Yes, yes. You know? <laughs> so that would be good if we could help each other out that way. Mm -hmm. And so what's who's buying what for you for Christmas since you do all this for everybody else. Oh, I always get treated good. Yeah, you do. I do. Well, you need a big car now. I know. <laughs> that I know. You know, my car is my office. Is your office. Yes, yeah, so I had a car accident, so now I have a rental car. It's oh, wow. two times the space of my other car. Oh. I love it. The whole thing is nice and roomy, and it's nice and, you know, everything's organized. So you won't want to give it back. Oh, I know. <laughs> and I, went, I had to go to Brooklyn uh last thursday to pick up gifts a, a school in brooklyn collected gifts for us okay and i had to go pick it up and i was like i just hope it fits in my car my yeah. car was packed it was packed from the back to the front it was That's packed. A blessing. but i was like what a right what a mm -hmm. blessing this is well exactly. the co-host my he's not here today he's a character okay and uh he always makes fun of my car you know but until i met him i didn't have a car i had a dump a dump of a car <laughs> and he helped me get a new car you know okay. and lease it you know, like a man can only do and help you out. <laughs> and um, now when he sees my new lease car and it's full, he gets mad because he goes, don't shit up, you know. And, uh, you know, what are you going to do when you have a lot of stuff? Right. And we help a lot of different types of people as well. So the car is always full. But now it's very organized. So he'd be very proud of me. But, you know, we're, we're missing him. He's a busy guy. And he should be back in about a week or two. Oh, very good. He'll oh, be asking for you, I'm sure. Very good. I'm sorry he wasn't here. Now, do you have, when you go do this, um, I'm sure they feed you because the food and these. Assisted no, I have, like I said, we they haven't don't feed really you? been. No, we the really, assisted living's food is delicious. We really haven't been allowed in to like sit and do things like that. That's just really well, you will now. starting this year. Yes, it's just starting now. So in my book, there's a chapter in my book. Okay. When I worked for an assisted That's living, I lasted uh, 14 days. I was the <laughs> recreation director, but the recreation director has to run around in a huge place, move walkers, move like people, do, yeah. do the movie, yeah. learn how to be a movie, you know, turn the movie on and off, but it's not like this. It's huge. Mm -hmm. um, talk to all the people. Make sure they're happy with their food. <laughs> anyway, long story short is uh, I was so much walking. It was like the love boat. It's a lot of walking. And yeah. these assisted livings are like the love boat. Seven yeah. elevators. So I didn't last. And you have but to keep all those people happy. People. happy. You have to keep them happy. That and entertained. Most and not only that, they made me do shalom. Oh, I wow. I'm, not, I'm not of that nature. I'm not Jewish. I'm Italian. Mm -hmm. But I learned how to do shalom, shalom. Did you know that the Jewish people only... Uh, they only use bread with a certain kind of knife. And you can't drink wine in a paper cup. You have to drink it in a glass. Wow. And there was a lot of things I didn't know, and I learned how to do it. Yeah, they have a lot of rules. But I couldn't um, run around. And my and my legs, you know, I left on a, almost like on a stretcher. Mm. But you know what? It was fun, and there's a chapter in my book about it. Okay. Because my book is all about life after getting fired. Okay. <laughs> and it's called uh, From Fire to Freedom. That's my book right there. Okay. So uh, it's interesting how when life gives you lemons, you can make lemonade. Absolutely. Yes. You know, and that's what you're doing. Yeah. You lost your parents. That's what we said. But every time you deliver a gift, you think of your parents, right? Of course. Yeah. Of course. Every time we do something, yes. yes. And your whole yes. family is obviously entrenched in it with you. Right. Right. It's great. Yeah. You probably, that's a good smile. Yeah. Mm -hmm. you be, uh, yeah. Every, everybody's involved. That's good. Yeah. It's really, really nice. It really is. So, my friend here, how did we find each other? I don't even know. Um, so On Facebook, I think. Facebook, right. Mm -hmm. So, I can't post on your Facebook, so. Oh, really? No, you're seeing my posts. Yeah. But it doesn't show that you're my friend. Mm. So, I don't know what's wrong with your Facebook, but you have to fix it. <laughs> yeah, because I Because if you don't fix it, but you, it's you know, it's probably, you. no, it's on the um, company's business thing. Yeah, well, the whatever. The Friends Crisis Center. They yeah. should fix it because my post should be going on. It is on my own. Um, it is. It so is on friend, it? my son. Oh. Yeah, okay. yeah, Jamar. Okay. Yeah. So anyway, um, you're very pretty. I love Thank your red you. hair. 
So how did this whole Friends Crisis Center start? I want the story. Uh, it came to me in a vision. Oh, at this night. is a dream. Yes, it, a vision from God, I believe. Um, I'm always helping people, but one at a time. You know, helping them um, with clothes. Um, sometimes helping them <laughs> stay with me. I, I'm Are you always people helping that people. Sleep over too. Yeah. Oh God. And um, because. <laughs> I don't like to see people homeless and no place to go and stuff. And single mothers, we go through stuff too because, um, like, say the husband leave. Now the mother is stuck with three kids. Sometimes they lose their mind, you know, so they need a place to go real quick. You know what I mean? That's what Friends Crisis Center is about. It's going to be like a 911 place. So now we're trying to get our name out there so we can get donations to help us get a building. Because our type of uh, the crisis center, we need a building to house these women and stuff. You know, and we plan on being different than other shelters. So you want to make like a shelter where people sleep and everything? Oh, where they live there and we help them with the medical, um, how to get back out in society, you know, mm-hmm. and how to get an apartment. Well, do you work with the social services department? Well, be- before you could do all of that, it's a whole lot of approvals. Yeah, like I you got to get your 501 three. It's you a lot of paperwork. Yet? Yeah, we're almost done with that. Mm-hmm. So I'm I don't know how all about the paperwork and stuff. So I have to pay people to you do the paperwork for me. Too. Yeah, so you but don't you know get I need trouble. Yeah, I need money because I'm financing it from my paycheck. So put it out which there. I've been struggling, 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 and struggling. Lawyers maybe you'll will find do somebody it, yeah. to to do it. Lawyers will do that for you on a pro bono. Yeah, because you know? we've been Definitely, struggling like, trying to get to everyone. You you you. You but know. when you're doing a nonprofit five hundred one three, nobody really wants to mess with it. We had to go to a lot of people. No, but what you do is Google pro bono five hundred one three C attorneys. Okay. Well, we almost got it you're done. We had there. to pay for it, but we almost got it done. Well, that's we pay for secretaries, every you know, to keep uh, the paperwork going. done. We have a um, a storage unit where we take People donations mm-hmm. and if somebody's moving in their apartment and they don't have that much we let them take out their story right. room yeah and we even help the um the elderly once a year um conway apartments we give a christmas party for their residents and that comes solely out of our pockets so we're not getting any donations or nothing right now we're just mainly doing it from the kindness of our heart, you know. Right. So, so it's how a struggle. many people are yeah, involved with you on the Right board? now we have five, but once we get the building, <laughs> we're going to need like 20. Yeah, so the building, how are you approaching getting a building? Well, now we're doing fundraisers. Okay. So next Saturday, we have a huge, huge fundraiser. We're doing at 400 Lauderville Road. In Latham, New York. And it's that party. Yes, at the holiday with end. with the red dress. Yes. <laughs> so it's a Christmas extravaganza ball. It looks oh, like it's nice. going to be yes. great. I wish we could come. Yes. But we're not very driving nice. three hours, honey. <laughs> but so we're all excited so about we have, We're even going to have Santa. Yeah. Yes, we're going to have Santa Claus there. We're going to have um, artists there selling their um, art. We That's got good. Um, nice. People selling unique jewelry, ties, men's accessories. 50-50s, all that. Yes, all of that. We're raffling off designer bags. What yes. the hell? Where's my bag? Oh, I want to buy bring some raffles. Yeah, so we have I want to buy some raffles. Yes, yeah, so great. we got a lot going on. Good for you. Because so we now, really need this building. running the whole show? You? I got to do it oh, all. <laughs> so you, gotta, you have to take some Xanax. Yes. Just to get, you know, get yourself... Before the party, what are you wearing? If you, I this got is a gorgeous. beautiful um, burgundy gown. Burgundy, that's yeah. good. Very you know, but my help, helpmate is truly the Lord. You know, because sometimes I want to give up, but He keeps showing me I need to do this. So now, you know, you, are you retired or you? No, nope, I'm, I'm working, Where so I work? can um, I work on private duty. What does that mean? Oh, you take care of people? Patient, one patient at oh, home. Oh, okay. That's yeah. really nice. That's a good thing to do. Yeah, so I take care so of one patient. So you have a lot patient. of feelings. Mm-hmm. I is love she taking very care old, of people. Or he very old? He's old, very old. Yeah, it's probably a lot of fun. You it is. A lot of fun. Yeah, they could be hard, though, sometimes. It can seniors, be very you know. hard. I'm sure they're stubborn. I would <laughs> think that they're always smiling when they, they see you, though. They could be stubborn. Because you're always they're carrying so the present. They're so much fun. The ones yeah. We've yes. done some outside outdoor events like during the past year and a half we've done a few out, outdoor events mm-hmm. and the people we met they've been arrived yeah oh, we, yeah, they're they're a lot of fun. we loved it we had a race car 
go to a facility one day, a um, young man has a race car and it was his idea to do this. And we brought the race car to the facility. When I pulled up first, they were all sitting outside already. Some yeah. in their wheelchairs. But That's really all, nice. It was a beautiful yeah. day, but they yeah. were all just sitting waiting. Giving them so something now, to like, do. Texting, where are you? Where are you? They're yes. outside waiting. And when he pulled in, they all clapped. They were, uh, they were all clapping when he brought the car around. They all wanted, they got a picture with him in the car. Oh. And uh, even the people, the, the men who were in wheelchairs, told their aide, don't help me up, I want to stand for the picture. That's oh. right. It was so sweet. It's, it's yeah. good work. It's yeah. very rewarding. It is rewarding. Yeah. Cool and I had my, my great niece there, so she was maybe at that time, she might have been a year and a half. I think she was just walking them. Yeah. And they love that too. They love seeing the, the little girl. Oh, you know, yeah. Like, yeah. Of course. They love kids. They love yeah. Babies. So it was really, it was a great day. We have our main actor watching from uh, Fontana's, Paul Lodicano. He is the man in command on the Fantanas. Okay. It's a new sitcom that'll be coming out. All right. Yes, and I'm looking forward to it. I, see it, all I your have clothes. a lead. I'm the mother in it. All right. I'm very excited about it. And Sunday, we're going to be seeing three episodes because we don't get to see them oh, okay. until they have a meeting. Uh, so Sunday, we'll be at a barbecue, not a barbecue, a house party. And the whole staff we're getting to see. Very nice. The three sitcoms. And, and then, when will it? I don't uh, know yet, but pretty soon we're going to be opening up a Facebook that. People can see the clips. Oh, very okay. So they'll give you like little teases. Very All right. That would so be I'm nice. So I'm playing the mama, but nobody likes me in my family. <laughs> they don't like me at all. They hate me and the girlfriends That's even usually more. usually what happens though. Yes. And my sons are they all. They still love you. Though. I love just, the sons, yeah. but they will like, screw around a lot. They, they have around. girlfriends and everything else. It's a great show. <laughs> so Paul, I'll see you Sunday. And Mariana Ayaboni is watching. She's a faithful watcher. She watches the show every day. So she gets the award for the Very best nice. fan of the Breakfast Club show. Okay. And Jennifer Wilson, Jamar Wilson, that is saying to you, proud of you, Felicia. Who is that? That's my COO. Oh, Very Jamar. Nice. Jamar, this is the yes. COO. She's a great lady. And he does a lot for us. He does the website. He does well, Facebook. Yes. Mm -hmm. He does any, um, he helped with our 5013. He does a lot for the company. And um, uh, to be honest, we I also have do another without. one watching here, Shadina Wilson. Who's that? Um, Jamar's wife. Oh, very <laughs> nice. So you got real fans out there. Yes. Huh? Well, you guys share the show. Like and share, because that's what you want to do for yourselves. To so everybody, when you share it, tell them to share it. Yeah, and that's what's going to help you. Okay. Like it helped her right. last time, and it'll help you. Well, thank you. And then, like I told you what to do about the, the media, Okay. where you live. Did you get a chance to call anybody? No. Yeah, you need a press release. We will. You, don't wait. I won't. When is the party? Um... Next Saturday. A uh, girl. I you gotta know. get on that phone. Do you have tickets? Have you been selling tickets? Um, they've been kind of slow. Okay. Well, people wait because people the last don't know minute. who we are. Yeah, yeah they, they do wait till. Wait till the but you really need to put your team out in the where you live. Okay. That's near the hotel. Yes. With your flyers. Okay. And definitely. go to the hotel. Leave them in the lobby. Mm -hmm. Put them on the cars. All that kind of stuff. Talk right. to the um. Talk to the hotel yeah, manager. Exactly. Well, yeah, I tried to do fun. that. They didn't want to do too much. Yeah, well. It's the Holiday Inn in uh, Latham. So. You got to go <laughs> to the they church. Should, like, they what about your church? It. Yes, they, they're going to uh, help out. Ask the priest to talk about it on the sermon. Okay. Giving back and then telling them about your party. Okay. And, you know, have a card. Not this card, but have a card in your hand. <laughs> All the next... For the next seven days and put all, all right. your volunteers out. Okay. And get copies and just. Put them everywhere. Yep. Do you know about the party? Which party? You know, you got to make it like hot. Yes, that's but true. The that's dress true. and the, the, the dress of the woman on the thing is unbelievable. Yeah. Jamar sort of like, did all of that. Like, that's our great to go and dress. find your page and see it. It's gorgeous. <laughs> yeah, look, if it's on our page. He's excellent. I'll do it yeah. before I leave you today. So he must be tall, dark, and handsome. He is very handsome. See, how did I know that? I don't know why. I he is I knew very that. handsome. Jamar, you got to send us your picture, okay? <laughs> very handsome. Send us your picture. 
His wife is watching. So oh, I'm, she's I a beautiful woman. I always get in trouble. I get in trouble a like, lot. Did you forget his wife is nah, watching? Yeah, because everybody knows I'm sincere. I'm 70. I'm not oh, you look good. I'm an old dog. <laughs> so you get to say whatever you want. Yes, my, that's my son from the show. He's okay. saying sometimes we love you. As long as I bring him food. Because he loves to eat. He eats everything. Do they have a favorite? Oh, he, no matter what you put on the table, he eats it. You don't need a favorite. <laughs> and he travels all the way in from New Jersey for us. Okay. Yeah, this is a group of people that are very committed to the so show. So I would say well, he loves good. you more than sometimes. Yeah, he does. Yes. <laughs> Sorry, he, he's, Paul. We know right you're now, at. He's going to be getting in trouble because he's going to sway. Okay. Yeah. This, and we don't find out what's going to happen until the day before when we get the script. Oh, wow. So, like, tomorrow, I, I don't know, I could be in the hospital. You know what I mean? I had a husband. <laughs> oh, and wow. And they killed him. They Last killed the week. husband. <laughs> I'm now a widow. No, I'm not kidding. It's serious. Oh, wow. So now they're telling me I'm going to start dating in about six weeks. Oh, okay. You're telling us all this? That's all right. I'll get in trouble. <laughs> uh, you know, when the, uh, if the guy's watching you know, Jerry Ferretti, he's the filmmaker. Okay. Film maker, yeah. Find your love for Christmas. Yeah, but he's a great guy. He's an Elvis, uh, Elvis impersonator. Okay. Uh -huh. he's, he got a band. He's got a band. He's come here, and he does a lot in the community. In the seniors, his mother's in one. Okay. And I actually, I'm portraying his mom. Okay. And I good. went to meet her at the assisted living. Oh, that's great. And she's a hot shot, let me tell you. <laughs> we don't look alike, but we act alike. Okay. So, yeah, it's, was, it's nice being part of a true story. Right. right. And it, it's, it's really kind of nice. So I'm enjoying it. Who knew? You don't know. You don't I know. I tell people, step out of your comfort zone. And it seems like you do that. Well, I'm learning. Yeah. So I'm now, married. are you married? Are you single? I'm single. Good for you. Do yeah. you have a date for the party? Um, actually, no. No? Oh, God. No. And she's I got wearing, a beautiful gown. She's got, what color is it? Burgundy. Oh, my favorite yeah. color. There yeah. you go. Yes. She's wearing burgundy. You want to take this girl to the party? <laughs> to the ball. Okay. Parara Wilson. Who's that? Farara? Farah. Farah Wilson. Who's that? Mm, it's your it's friend, proud of you, Felicia Bellamy. Oh, that's my niece. Hey, girl, how you doing, beautiful? Oh, see that? Yes. They're watching. I'm proud of these people. They found G's. Oh, they did. You know well, how they can't find this? I'm sure not. <laughs> I can't find it. I was trying to find it this afternoon. I'm like, I can't find it. Well, it'll be up there by tomorrow. Yeah, yeah but you I have a great it. family. You do. It looks like it. Yep. Well, make sure somebody buys her flowers because she's got this great burgundy dress. <laughs> so make sure it's a white bow. Okay. Because it'll stand out on the burgundy. <laughs> I believe in matching everything. Oh, okay. Do you know how many events like that I had? How I many? A lot of them. Well, when I had my real job, I used to put on events in Vegas, Washington, California. And we used to have at least... Uh, 700 people at each one. Oh, wow. I had a good job wow. back then. Oh, yeah, that's a good I'm job. I'm too old for it now. Forget it. I, when I think back of what I did when I was working, mm -hmm. I had a staff of 13 people just to do the parties, the gifts. You need at least that. Yeah. yeah. And we had a lot of fun, but nice. I couldn't do it now. No. No, I couldn't do it anymore, but... You know, my book is all about what happens when you're 50 mm -hmm. and shit happens. <laughs> it sure does. Yeah, it does. does. And there's 69 <laughs> women in my book okay. that should happen to. And how you turn your life around. Mm -hmm. And when you volunteer, which is what you're both doing, mm -hmm. your life changes drastically. That's why we're trying to open the crisis center because shit happens to women right. all the time. So now you're saying you allow people to stay in your home sometimes? Well, we, that's why we want to get the house. That's a little dangerous. You know, you. <laughs> I trust God to keep me safe. Be, it's, it's a big need for this. It is. It's a big need for programs for women. You know, you have to be a little careful. I have my big, strong sons <laughs> to look out after me. Well, that's good. Yeah. That's good. Are some in danger when they reach out to you? Yes. Yeah. And you have to probably worry about drugs and things like that. Right? Oh, all of that. What about the, the, the creeps that uh, beat their wives? Do they come to you too, the girls? Well, we have it and got the that close. the women I, that beat the men. I know. But we need the building to really start housing right. people. But I have a big apartment, so I take a couple of people in here and there. Mm -hmm. Like I took one of my sister's friend because he was really, really sick. 
almost about to die, so we helped him out, you know, oh, to nice. get, get himself together. But it's a really big need to help people out. Get them off the streets well, and stuff. Well, you get what you right. give, honey. That's do the, what that's um, about. Do, like, your local police know what you do? So, like, if you have a woman whose husband, like, is threatening to hurt her. Yeah. And she comes to what reach do you out do? to you. Well, we need to do build the them first. No. Oh, okay. Yeah, so, we, we haven't need... gotten that far. Okay. Right. So, that's why we Because I kind of think it's fundraising. dangerous at some point. But you got to have security in your building. Something, you do. 24-hour yeah. yeah. security. Because, yeah, because these people are mad. Yes. Yes. Very true. And then they closed down all these mental hospitals and stuff. So people have problems. You you yes, know, even the mothers. They can't cope some more, you know, sometimes. Oh, here's the picture of the yeah, dress. Look at that. Yeah. This is a great picture of you. Oh, oh thank you. I was on a cruise. Well, you could tell you were having fun, let me tell you. Yeah, I did have And this helped end domestic violence. Mm -hmm. So what kind of support That's do you beautiful. give these women that come in? Well, right now we're... Just giving them reference to other places oh, to so go. Oh, so you get okay. referrals. Referral okay. right now, but we, like I said, once we get the building, you be the we're gonna be housing them. Help. Right. And before you can house the women, you got a lot of state and federal programs that you have to be approved for first. Right. And if they give you anything, make sure you do it. Oh, we gotta you. keep everything because um, if you don't, they'll take it away. And we have a board of election that looks over us. Right. They um, volunteer to do it, but they're our bosses. So we have to answer to them, too. It's, it's a big thing to open yeah. a crisis center. Yeah. It's not so e easy. No, I, I wouldn't imagine. A lot of is. times I want to give up. Well, There's a lot of things need, involved. Um, security. Oh, yeah. Yeah, That's we good. got security. There's a lot of things involved. Yeah, but a lot of times I want to give up, but I won't. Well, this you you you. It's going to work out. In it. Yes, God's going to work it out. You're invested in it. You definitely are. Yeah. And that's a good thing. Yeah. You know? So I mean, what's your website if people want to check you out? Um, www.friendscrisiscenter at, at gmail.com, I think it is. Yeah, no, yeah. it's not. It's no, it's com. Right, exactly. <laughs> I'm always getting well, technical gets stuff nervous. messed up. I'm yeah. not making you nervous, am I? No. I usually I'm very comfortable with you. No, I know. I make people comfortable. <laughs> you need a cheat sheet when you do it. Just yeah, look, I have all these sheets. Everyone says to me, why are you always playing with paper? Because you have to. Right. Because you're trying to get a message across to people that you want people to understand right. you. Right. So, you know, we're not that fancy, but we're fancy, you know? Yeah, that's good. So we got 78.7 .7 radio watching. Thank you for watching. Wow. Shadina is saying something again. That's who is that? Your daughter? My daughter in law. Your daughter in law. Daughter -in -law I guess she likes you. Sometimes daughter in laws don't like you. Oh, you know what? I've been <laughs> blessed. I get it along with both my daughter in laws. I've been Very blessed. Good. So, what's Very your blessed. dream for the for the event? Like, what's your real? Well, for the event, we're hoping to raise at least five thousand, so that I can stop funding it out of my own pocket because I'm getting broke. <laughs> Yeah. You know, what, what did you do before you did on. this caretaking? Before that, um, oh, a beautician. Oh, so my daughter you, took you over the that. Hairdo. Yeah, oh. so my daughter took over that. So yeah. very, very nice. But okay. I always help people, and one one particular time, I took this young girl to the amusement park as a big sister, and right. we were coming back, and we stopped at Wendy's to get something to eat. And, and when we stopped, stopped it, it was a homeless woman there who'd been. Uh, like it. some of them yes. body molested her, so her clothes was all ripped and stuff. Uh, you know, and I was, I don't never hesitate to help somebody. I went right in my suitcase and gave her my clothes, you know, and it was so funny because the lady said to me, let me get your phone number so I can pay you back. I said, honey, yeah, just right. take care of you, you know? That's right. This, right. this little stuff don't mean nothing to me. Right. No. You, know. you did the right thing, and that's what yeah. life's about. And the, the young lady who was with me, she said that. She was like, please, put a guy I said, give her the, your, your soda and your chips. Exactly. And she you did, you know? Right. Yeah. We right. have a gentleman right here on Franklin Avenue who somebody made him a like a top like you put on an awning on your house mm -hmm. and it's on the ground okay the awning is on the ground i for him to sleep that's where he sleeps and that was nice there. though that no, they thought about us him. and we give him little things every now and then it's very sad but he doesn't want to go to a shelter <laughs> that's another issue yeah. So, yeah, sometimes they don't want to go. Don't want to go. Yeah, mm -hmm. and that's the problem. They would rather be on the street than go to and a that's shelter, why the which is public, sad. You know, the police are having such a hard time right. trying right. to figure out what to do. 
But we also have Kathy Wilms. She's watching. She's a jewelry person. She sells great jewelry for five dollars. Okay. Uh, and she comes on the show every now and then. She's local, so she's watching. Uh, we have a few things going on on December uh, the eighth. The Huntington Yacht Club is having a sparkling night, sparkling dresses and drinks. Okay. And um, if anybody wants to go, just send me an email and we'll tell you all about it. On Saturday night, our very good friend, Anthony Rodia, he's an Italian comic. Okay. He's going to be at Westbury Music Fair. I'm still trying to get tickets. I used to work with him. Okay. But he's it's very hard to get right now. <laughs> Yeah. Once you get big, it's hard to find you. <laughs> right, that's good for On me. Friday the 16th, we have a Christmas show with Bob D'Amato. And he is going, Santa Claus is going to be there. It's at Mia's. Very nice party. Okay. We're very involved with Christmas stuff. Oh, that's good. And yeah. then um, the Sons of Italy has a Saturday night party. It's uh, at the Knights of Columbus Hall. You can just send me an email if you want to go. And uh, last but not least... If you like the Honeymooners, okay, we are reenacting the Honeymooners Christmas night, Christmas Eve, a live play okay. in the View Grill in um, uh, Glen Cove. Glen Cove. Ah. We'll be there for lunch, the Breakfast Club, if anybody wants to go. It's $70 a person. Okay. It's an exclusive place. It's just beautiful. Yeah, Glen Cove. And yes. um, the, uh, <laughs> the players were on, on Monday. And they're unbelievable. They depict those guys to a T. And it's going to be very different. And it's called Twas the Night Before Christmas, but it's the actual, you know, you know, movie that we saw on TV. Oh, wow. That right, right, right. they play. Okay. Over. Oh, it's that's going to be nice. Great night out or a great day out. Right. So we have a lot of that going on. And then we have the matchmaker from Long Island who we just got invited uh, with a free table. I don't know if you want to go, Susan. <laughs> in Floral Park, and it's called Christmas Singles Mixer. Oh. So anybody out there that wants to meet somebody, go to Floral Park, and uh, it is uh, this weekend at uh, the restaurant is called, uh, what is the name of the restaurant? Hold on. It is something pub. Well, email me because I lost half of the article here. Oh, yeah. Christmas singles. Okay. And um, it's really going to be fun and it's free. Oh, wow. So, Very what nice. the hell? You might as well go if you want to go. And, um, and then our big Christmas show, if you want to come, is December 22nd. I saw that. Yes. I here. will. Here. Yes. And uh, if whatever we have, we'll give you that day what's yeah. left, you know. And that's going to be at 4 30. Everybody brings a dish. Okay. Because we don't charge people for because we feel it's the holiday. Right. You know, and our sponsors take care of a lot of things for us. But Christmas, nobody's spending money. <laughs> you know, it's hard. It's really it hard. hard. That's it the is. truth, you know. Yeah. So we everybody helps out. And mm -hmm. we're already decorated, as you can see. Yeah. Yes. And then we have Very a singer. Nice. We have a guitar player. So we have the show. They start the show with music. Then we have crazies. Then we eat. Then we end the show with music. It's okay, a lot of fun. You've be never nice. been to a party I have, show. I know. Our Thanksgiving show was unbelievable. It was just terrific. So we have really, really um, nice things that go on here. Oh, that's good. And I met Greg, who is, owns this club, in the dry cleaners. Oh, you met him in the dry cleaners? And that's how we met. Wow. And um, he, he's very handsome. Okay. And he's quite, you know, enticing when you talk to him. So <laughs> I started talking to him and I basically said, where are you? What's your place? And I followed him here. And wow. This is two and a half years now. That we're oh, wow. Here together. That's great. So yeah, I made a connection. He used to be in a dump. So That's great. But Very if happy. You, if you want go back and watch some of the... You should watch our oh, yeah. shows. No, it's you on YouTube. See that. I didn't... I would have thought you were like lifelong friends. Okay. You, you both... Two years. But now he's like my son. Together. Yeah. All right. But he's, he says I'm his work wife. Okay. <laughs> so, but, you know, he's a good guy. But um, I have something that I wanted to read, um, and it's all about, like, the holiday and, you know, and it's called Hope. Okay. So, hope is the thing with feathers that perches in the soul and sings the tune without the words and never stops at all. And sweetest in the gale is heard and sore must be the storm. 
that could abash the little bird that kept so many warm. I've heard in the chillest land and on the strangest sea, yet never in extremity. It asked a crumb of me. So in other words, you know, hope the bird, you know, they're hungry, but they keep flying and, you know, it's cold, but they they're always up. extreme and they keep going right. and they never ask for anything. They just fly. So I thought that was pretty right. interesting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Somebody sent me that. I get the weirdest things. <laughs> Trust me. You. I really no, get I weird things me. sometimes. Yeah. Once I had somebody on the show and he had an ex <laughs> and she sent me a letter and she said, he's not what you think. <laughs> and I was like totally shocked. She I'll goes, like, thank you. To know that She's dude. like, yeah. <laughs> Uh, and I'm like, okay, but uh, you get a lot of feedback on on Facebook. Yeah, I you know, you. and yet he seemed like he was the greatest. You know, so you just don't know about people, especially when you know you do and stuff she like this. Could have just been bitter. Or well, she's jealous. probably bitter because she probably yeah, she could have been jealous you know loved him to death, and he might have done something wrong. Let's face it, mm -hmm. or he, he might have changed it's, his ways. Right. <laughs> Women do things wrong, and men do of things course. wrong. Right. We all do things wrong. Of course. Two sides to every story. Well, it's very true. So, um, but I'll be doing a book tour this week. I wish you were closer. I'd have you come yeah. on December twenty first. Okay. And it's That's gonna be it. lunch and. Uh, we have a makeup lady coming. We have two other authors, myself. And it's $25 a person, guys. Floral Park. Great restaurant with a back room. Okay. If anybody ever needs a back room for a little party, great deal. It's called Poppy's Place. And I grew up in that town. So whenever I have anything, I go back to, to my roots. Place. Okay. Yeah. Well, there's so many people I know in Floral Park because that's such where. A great. My brother lives there. It's so really? What there. street does he live on? He lives on them. Not too yeah, you don't remember. <laughs> my mind how, is, my how, mind is blank. How long has he been there? He's been there probably ten years. Oh uh, well, then I probably know him. I know everybody yeah, in Fort yeah. My father had a hardware store on Jericho Turnpike. Oh, okay. So okay. we knew everybody. Okay. And uh, when I left, I was sad, but um, it was a community. But when you move, when you're older, Crocus Avenue. Oh, Crocus, that's a big one. That's the West End. I'm like, <laughs> that's called the West End. Okay. That's very nice. Okay. <laughs> but when you move, when your kids are older, it's not the same because you don't meet the people. Right. right. You don't right. meet the families. Exactly. You don't know the kids. So it's like you're a no name. You know, when you in a community, when you're young and your kids are young, right. it's different. Don't you think? Oh, Absolutely. yeah. Everybody remembers Absolutely. each other. Yes. Yeah. You know, mm -hmm. where I live now, forget it. I live in a senior citizen place. I love it, though. Oh, you do? Yeah, but they're a little nutty. <laughs> you know, they watch you. They watch everything you do. They do. And Every if you noise. Put, like an extra plant in or, you know, put the garbage out wrong or anything like that. Oh, they report you? You go, mm -hmm. you get in doo-doo, big time. Okay. It's funny, but I get a kick out of it. You know, because I'm very happy where I am. Well, that's good. That's I'm in a good. little tiny place, you know, no you know, no BS. Okay. That's good. And uh, the, when Greg comes over, he has a motorcycle. Mm. So, I, I mean, figure it then out. you get on the motorcycle? No, 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 no. <laughs> oh, but you must be no, the but tour. Yes. Figure, figure it like out, guys. <laughs> yeah. Figure mm. it out. You know, it's, uh, and you know, I laugh because, you know, just, they're cute. Mm -hmm. You know, they're really cute people, and oh, yeah. I like it, you know. So, but I'm only there four years. Okay. So, but from the day I moved in, I loved it. Good. Yeah. So, sometimes change is very good for you. Oh, yeah, because you don't have to um, mow the lawn or yeah. shovel mm -hmm. the snow, right? Right. It's, everything's taken care of. So, that's good. And you just have to deal with the nosy people, that's all. But they don't know how to do this, so I know they're not watching. <laughs> <laughs> That's the thing. And I'm actually um, pretty good shape compared to them. And I'm, you know, I have my issues, trust me. <laughs> so, we all do. yeah, I'm lucky, exactly. you know. But um, today the show is sponsored by um, Tranquility Spa, which is down the block. You haven't gone yet. No. It is a spa where the prices is, are one third the price of the North Shore. Wow. And you tell them the show sent you. They take very good care of you. You sit in a chair. From the feet all the way up to your neck. You don't have to take your clothes off. It's very comfortable. 
you were in heaven, they put heat on your neck, they put pads on your eyes, and they put a thing on your head for music. Oh, wow. And you're in heaven for an hour. And it's only $45. That's not bad. Oh, I, you I got to go. It, right? You yeah. got to go and tell yeah, them yeah, I that's sent not you. Bad. Yes. And it's a great price. It's clean as can be. And they have about 17 chairs, 17 spaces, private. Okay. Wow. Always packed. And it's called the Tranquility Spa. And it's on Franklin Avenue in Franklin Square. And they moved a new one now in Levittown, which might be closer to you. I don't know. And then we have also as a sponsor Aura Pura Jewelers, Teddy and Christina, Hempster Turnpike. This is where I get all my nice little jewelry That's from. Nice. Very and nice. he's very he's prices are great. You need a Christmas gift. Okay. So now do you have a gorgeous necklace to wear with this dress? We do. Uh, yeah, we, we have do. a vendor who's gonna be there all day selling oh, jewelry oh, diamonds oh, no. yeah so it's gonna be nice that's great so they have to make the boyfriend drink mm -hmm. and then take him over to the vendor and buy a nice little christmas gift yes you must be really excited i am it sounds it sounds like a it's lot, like yeah. a lot of fun. And like i said we're gonna have santa there we're gonna have mrs santa there elves a lot of vendors you put a we lot got of work lady into with it. a lot of tasty treats that's, I put a lot of work in it. I did. really did. Yeah. yeah we'll so, take the Xanax before you go. Now you just have to work hard up until Because when you have the drink, the then yes, you take yes. the Xanax and then have the little drink. Then, you'll be then go sell the tickets. Yeah, you'll be floating. <laughs> It'll be fun. Yeah. <laughs> See, when I have an event, the person that suffers the most mm -hmm. is Susan, the blonde lady. <laughs> <laughs> She's very nice, but when when I get nervous about an event, I start shouting. You know, and she's so good about it. She so, gotta calm you down. She's huh? beautiful, isn't she? Yes, she is. She's a very pretty lady, and we have a lot of fun. And she's very welcoming. Oh yeah, yes. she's got the personality yes. of a saint. Mm -hmm. but she likes welcome. me, so you know. <laughs> no, but we get along good. And you know how I met her? I, don't it, mean I meet most people in a diner. Okay. Uh, she used to be the waitress in the diner. Okay. Oh, like and she would give me a table, and then put me in the corner, and let me do my work because I always worked out of the house okay because i had to get out and um i get my most work done at when i'm not home okay because the bell rings the phone rings right and then the seniors ring the bell mm -hmm. if there's something happened uh, you know so and that's how i met her and two and a half years she's with the show that's good and um she's great she's great i'm sure you she comforted you when oh, you walked she did. Time, right? Really? Yeah. yeah it's very nice she'll even comb your hair <laughs> But that lady had the job of doing eyelashes on movie stores oh, 30 wow. years ago. Nice. So she did all the eyelashes of all the movie stores 30 years ago when no one knew how to do eyelashes. Wow. And, and the makeup. makeup. Okay. She had a place nice. right on Park Avenue. Beautiful. So, you know, you never know about people. No. And it's expensive to well, get she your eyelashes was, She was now. doing the um, waitressing because she was bored. Right. And I'm like, well, you bored? Okay, come here. You know, I got something for you. Okay. And that's how it all worked out. That's and great. she's actually in the movie, too, that I'm in. That's she good. plays a waitress, guys. Three of them. Yeah. Okay. She's playing great a waitress. Story. That's good. So, you know, I try to tell people, step out of your comfort zone. Because you never know what's going to happen. Right. That's true. Look what so you're true. doing now. Yeah. I mean, it's amazing. Yeah, I would have never imagined I'm doing this. Yeah, and it all happened because of a loss. Yeah, right. You know, and really, what you went through... With losing your parents to COVID, yeah, I know that's hard. Goodness. And and you know, I'm sure you have, in some ways, not a hatred, but a bad feeling about these nursing homes. But you I turned it around. I, I don't really. You turned that, it around at that time. I do know that they were overwhelmed. Mm -hmm. They were overworked. They were understaffed. So I don't blame really the employees. I might blame a bit the administration right because they're still not giving the true answers like right. we still truly don't know what really happened and what you know we, they just won't give answers so wow. it's it's that i'd i'd say i have a bad taste for the administration but not for for the yeah. regular employees i don't well because no, they do the best they can yeah that's the thing they do the best they can yeah. Yeah. No. The they i told you my can. dad's place down the block from me when this when the COVID first started, they were outside with garbage bags. Like they didn't even have the proper PPE. They had garbage bags on. Mm -mm. It's really a shame. It is. But now the news is saying, you know, that 
Long Island is up I there. I heard that, yes. Wow. But they're saying that COVID, RSV, and flu is all the same now. So I had, believe it or not, I got RSV. Okay. Six weeks. I you had it for wow. six weeks? Six weeks, and I still can't get rid of the last wow. wow so and virus fee usually only goes to children right but now it's open season for everybody and you know a lot of people stop believing in um what they say yeah you know and mm. that's unfortunate because they contradict themselves too much that's, too much. Yeah. that's all yep and that doctor what's his name uh, the Fauci. italian Fauci. Yeah. he's totally out of the picture he's gone he's gone they fired him he is gone. No comment. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Between him and the Cuomo and all the other stuff that went on. My sister know. had got the booster uh, um, during COVID and it messed her legs up. Now she's on steroids. I, I, so I know quite they a few people. Swollen? Yeah. I have she's the same on thing. steroids. I did too. Yeah. yeah I my, know quite a few people that have problems. Yeah. yeah. Ha have f after effects yes. from yes. the boosters and the shots. I have the yeah. same issue. Yes, yeah, so. and this is stuff they held back. They didn't tell you this ahead. Of right, time. Mm -mm. right. But How you know, many women had problem with their cycles and and just um, and, and men too, stuff. men too, yeah, men too. Mm -hmm. And anyone that has a little breathing issue, it tripled. It yeah. got worse. Yeah. yeah, you know. So well, now I know how to use an atomizer, uh, a nebulizer. Okay. Oh. <laughs> but I was I didn't want to do it, but once I did, it was it much, helps a it lot. Helps yeah. A lot. yeah. So you yeah. know, you learn a lot of things. Yeah. You know, and you, you know, I went to the doctor, I think, every week for like six weeks because I Jeez. couldn't believe that no medicine could help. Right. So, but as long as you have people you trust. Right. Yeah. Then, that's you know. A that's a blessing. Yes. So, guys, you want to definitely look at this website. And your son just uh, put it here. He said, friendscrisiscenter.com. <laughs> And well, thanks, Jamar. Yeah, and you, your website again? OperationGiftsForSeniors.org. Anybody, you can drop off the gifts here at G's on Monday at 11.30 or Thursday at 4.30 be, before each show. And we gave her quite a nice bunch of yes. Queen Helene products. Thank you, everybody who's dropping it off. That's yes. amazing. And we're going to have more for you by then. A lot of people, we've been posting a lot. That's good. And, you know, whatever we can, we can. And you'll get to come to the party. Yes, I will come to the wear party. Wear red yes. because we, we it's a red day. Okay. Definitely a red, red day. We wear we, <laughs> we do color. We do color. I'm glad you gave me that memo now. <laughs> yes. Well, when it was Greg's birthday, uh -huh. he does not like leopard. Oh, he don't like leopard? We decorated the whole place in leopard. Very good. And everybody <laughs> wore leopard. <laughs> Even this year was all leopard. Oh, my goodness. He almost, he was <laughs> so funny. And it was such a hoot. Okay. It was I really bet, a hoot. I bet. Yeah. So we come up with a lot of different ideas. Yeah, that was cute. You know, so, you know, you just have to, you know, do something different at the party. You know, mm -hmm. I don't know what, but, mm -hmm. you know, put a kissing booth there. You have well, a beautiful we, woman. We got a um, And make new them artist. pay $5 for every, every <laughs> kiss they get or something, you know? <laughs> you want to be on the kissing booth? <laughs> Huh, and Chris? make sure well, she's look at she's got a nice she little yes. outfit on there. So yeah, she do. She be good. Yes. <laughs> well, all right. Well, we're what are you tell Christine me about the artist? The, the artist is going to draw people. Yeah, we have this new artist. Her name is Cla Clarice. Clarice. Yes, she, Clarice she got, from the movie. She got a beautiful voice. She really do. And then we have uh, a new artist who just released his new song. Get out. Yep. Yeah, it, it's Very on YouTube. Yep. Yeah. Well, tell them and all it's about called, us. You don't know me, and it's by Charles Bridget. It just came out, so we're gonna be playing his music at the party too. That's so it's gonna great. be really nice. So you know what you do? Each one of you volunteers, you tell them you have to bring ten people. Okay. And that's how you get your tables right. filled. That's true. Your job is right. to sell ten. My tickets. sister been helping out an awful lot. Sounds like it. Yeah, yeah. I have a good family. They've yeah. really been helping. Yeah, that's great. But it's get, gonna work. I, get the copies done and put the kids work to work. Yes, the teenagers. That's true. Say, give it to your mother. Tell the kids, give that to your mother. Give that to your mother. That's true. I, I basically abuse the kids when I have it. <laughs> <laughs> but then I feed them. Right. That's yes. what we do, you know. So. Yeah. But this was very, you know, it's very nice to be part of, uh, you know, giving one show which is what today's show is about Thank you. and um mm -hmm. the anonymous donor doesn't want to be named 
But, it, but you could send me a note if you want, calling, saying to the anonymous donor. Well, on, thank on you. Email. Yes, yes, thank you very yes, much. Thank um, you. And that's the best part about when people um, donate, right. that they don't want to be um, right. spoken about. Right. Yeah. And just it's it. really special. It is very special. And there's special. not that many of them out there. Right. But when you get it, it's kind of nice. It's very nice. You know? Mm-hmm. So, um, you know, December is the gift of giving. So you give out of love, not obligation. Right. You give when it's least expected. Yeah. You give with no strings attached. Mm-hmm. You give from your heart. You give to show you care. And you give not to, you not to, you know, you have to say, I want to be the difference. Right. Not I am the difference. No. Because the word be is a verb. Right. Mm-hmm. And right. the be means you're going to work. Right. And so be the difference yeah. out there. Yeah, I say that Call all the time. these ladies. Yeah. Yes. Help, Help them. Us out. Yes. All right. <laughs> I and need a building. You could always uh, FedEx to this girl here. Yes. She drove three hours to get here. And um, I, I think it was great that you managed to come. And, and anyone that says Facebook doesn't work, well, guess what? It does. It does. Because that's how we met. On yes, Facebook. that's how we met. Yes. And I think that's true? how yes. we met. Yes. I'm a Facebook yes. freak. Yes. But I go to jail a lot. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Yeah, no, they put me in jail a lot. Susan was telling me. I can't <laughs> imagine that. Yeah, I just got out of jail just uh, two days ago. Okay. So, but now they're giving me warnings. So they said, you cannot share anymore today. Okay. And if you don't agree, you will be stopped. So I stopped. Okay. See, when Greg is here, I don't have to do that. He does it. He does it. And he takes care of it. But okay. without Greg, I have to be the one-man show. Okay. And it's hard. And he's usually right here next to me, busting my shoes. Well, you did a good job. You did so, a very good job. Mm-hmm. So I, I really thank you a, a, a lot. Tell people about my book. Okay. My book is for sale for Christmas gifts. It's called From Fire to Freedom at ValentinaJanik.com. Great gift. Under $20 if you buy it online. If you buy it here, it's twenty dollars. Okay. But they take my money. Amazon takes your money, so you can't get your twenty bucks. Right. right. But the bottom line is, it's good for anyone that's going through a rough time because it's from lemons to lemonade. Okay. It's how you could change your life, whether it's a sickness, a job loss, um, a boyfriend, an ex, a creepy boss, an interview from hell, and that's really it's sixty nine women stories. Okay. I think there's one man in there. Okay. But because men don't speak, they don't want to talk. They don't want to tell right. you the truth. Right. They want to keep their, sh- you know, keep it closed. Private. And women like to share. Yes. And all of those women in my book wrote their own book now. So anyone that wants oh, to wow. write a book, we publish books now at the Breakfast Club as well. Wow. And that wouldn't have happened if I didn't get fired. That wouldn't have happened if I didn't write the book. And I wouldn't be in this movie if I didn't write the book because that's how I met. The volunteering at the film festival because I want a movie. Okay. And so my goal is someday, if you guys have I seen have the Breakfast Club movie. movie. Yes. All right. Well, that's going to be my movie, but it's going to be my book. Okay. In the future. So there's always hope. There you go. And always that's nice. what we talked about in yes. the beginning. Always hope. And your family sometimes looks to you and say, okay, you know. Mm-hmm. <laughs> when I told my daughter, who's 50, I'm going to be in a sitcom, she goes, yeah, okay. And not until we went for Thanksgiving and I brought her the clip. Okay. Did she believe me? All right. And my grandchildren were like, you really did? They thought it was teasing. <laughs> so it's like a great, it's a great thing. Definitely. And then I dragged people with me, like Susan. She, she's like, I'm not doing it. I'm like, yes, you are. Okay. And she did it. And she did it well. They and put her in a like nice it, right? little outfit. She had a pretty little, you know, waitress outfit on. And then she danced on the dance floor in another movie. <laughs> I'm telling you, and never would we think that we would do this. So right. anybody out there, if you want to do an extra in a movie, do it. Right. You don't get paid a lot. They give you lunch. And if they don't like you, they send you going. That's okay. It. So think about doing something different every week. One thing, especially if you're looking for something new in your life. Right. And when you write a book, you do not write a book to make money. You write a book to change your life. Okay. And that's proof because... It did happen. And then when you passed all that, you become a speaker. Because now storytelling is very big. Companies hire people to tell stories. Not to read from the book anymore. If you go to a book launch, nobody reads anymore. Mm -mm. They tell stories. 
And so that's a new job thing. Storytelling, believe it or not. But you have to they pay you big, but right. you gotta get up there and meet the the big shots. Right. Okay. So on that note, guys, thank you so much for coming. Thank I hope you, you enjoyed it. Me. Thank you for having me. Tell you. everyone about this great place. I this will. Yes. Available for rent. You blow people away when they come in here. Because from outside it's nice. No, it is. It's a nice from place. outside you're like, what is this place? You know. You walk in and the people that work here are terrific. Great bar, great hosts. And um, on that note, it's a wrap. Thank you. Thank you.